Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh god, oh god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Generic control into that goes me here back with another nostalgia critic video. Today we are reacting to the thief and the cobbler by nostalgia critic. I have never heard of this movie, literally ever. Um, last week we did the freakiest Raggedy Ann movie, and the week before that we did the what well, was it the Hugh Framed Roger Rabbit? Was that what that was? Or I think that might have been what we did last. I'm not really sure. Or was the top eleven mind f's? I'm not really sure. You want to check out my reaction to the freakiest Raggedy Ann movie? I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description. Also we play this on my channel with all of my other nostalgic creative videos. Uh, also, happy 4th of July if you're watching this on the day of upload. It should be uploaded on 4th of July. Patrons, you get a day early, however. So, patrons, you're awesome. Thank you for supporting the channel and allowing me to not have a paywall on the channel. I could not do this without you. Also, if you become a patron, literally $3 a month gets you all of my reaction videos a day early. And I'm doing like almost 20 videos a week. So, yeah, that's pretty great. I had somebody comment on a video last night. They literally said, thank you for profiting off others' work. And it was a death battle video. I went and checked the stats of that video. I have made one penny in re ad revenue from that video because 100% of ad revenue goes to death battle on almost all of my death battles. So yeah, that's a great comment, my guy. Now you're hidden forever and you'll never be seen by anybody on my channel ever again. But that's just that's just some of the stuff I deal with. But hopefully I'm making you smile. Hopefully I'm making your day just a tiny little better because that's what I'm here for. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you're subscribed. I read every comment. Let's go ahead and jump into this video though. And like I said, I do Hello, read every single comment, stuff. so yeah, what so video do I do hacks. next? Also, Today's this is old, Doug. Is, um, interesting. I've never heard of this. And when I say interesting, I mean interesting. it has a very interesting history. The name of the film is The Thief and the Cop. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Apparently it's done by like the same dude or that did the Raggedy Ann movie. And the what? Or, or Peach Cobbler? Now, or none of these an movies. Of assness, which is what most people call it. If a I film think can't watch decide a... no. on what the <laughs> title is, how can it decide on the audience it's going to appeal to? Is it appealing to toddlers, what? older children, to the mainstream Disney crowd, the strange surreal fantasy crowd? Was it crowd? made by Disney? What? what? Probably. Well, before I talk about the film, let's talk about the film. Once upon a time, yeah, there's what? an animator named Richard Williams. He's said to be one of the Oh yeah, 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 Richard Williams. This is the dude. We did like a Chuck trilogy. Produced Christmas Carol, that trippy Raggedy Ann and Andy film, and which was last week's video. This accomplishment, the animation Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Rabbit, which I had also had never seen. All of that, he started production on The Thief and the Cobbler in 1964. 64 in 1993. What the hell happened all Still way time? before I was born. Apparently the film was independently funded and Williams went on and on saying that this was going to be his masterpiece. Because of this, was it? the film took years and years of perfecting and financing to finally get it finished. A financing. In fact, one of the actors died before the film even got released. Vincent Price recorded his dialogue over 20 years before it ever saw the film. Wow. Day. And as of now, it continues to be the longest time it's ever taken to complete an animated picture. Because really? The was what is the longest so long, movie? The film was bought by the Completion Bond Company and kicked Williams off the project. Having it released by Miramax and putting together their own half-assed cut that is still considered to be the cum bucket of a dick cock. <laughs> this is that version. Jesus. So, let's see how this magnum opus went to magnum anus in The Thief and the Cobbler. We start oh, man. enough with a little backstory. Legend has it that each shooting star is really an Arabian night riding across the heavens. Oh, God, what? don't tell me. That's a lot of fish. Vagina That's a lot of... That's what? right. Matthew Broderick is the star of this movie. Must have been oh, one of the wonderful choices that was the, the actor company made, seeing how the only sperm by Godzilla the movie I've began production. Long before the heroic tales of Aladdin and Alibaba, the first Never seen Aladdin. night was chosen. You hear that, Disney? We sort of beat you to it. The golden city of Baghdad, high atop Baghdad. the tallest tower, Baghdad House of Wisdom, balls, whose magic protected it from the evil King One Eye and his army of darkness. <laughs> what? According to the prophecy, they added that in. If the balls were ever removed, Baghdad would be in great danger. Is that an actual? No, I'm pretty sure that's an actual thing. So we finally see our hero, simply known as Tech. A pretty pale looking fellow for someone who lives in the desert. Hey. At the time I was pal. a poor orphan pretty working pal. as a cobbler's apprentice. Life was simple. And an answer to Aren't cobblers no, people that work on I shoes? I don't know why he looks like Beetlejuice's Raggedy Ann doll. But he's not the only main character. I haven't we seen also Beetlejuice. have the thief, played by Jonathan Winters. He never talks in the movie. Hurrah! 
But Never. sadly, someone decided to put a microphone in his brain. Wait, well, what? Nobody lives like this except college kids. At college this isn't kids? Too bad, but trust me, it gets real annoying real fast. So while he tries Bananas. to steal from the cobbler, the Yellow Submarine Pride Parade is happening outside, welcoming the arrival of the Wizard Zigzag, played by Vincent Price. The Wizard. What is going on with his like feet? Oh God, it's like an octopus. Oh, oh, so well, okay. Is captured as we cut to our love interest in the movie, Princess Yum Yum. Okay, hold on. Yum Yum, wait. Tack, zigzag, Yum Yum. These aren't names, these are words an infant is trying to say for the first time. Yeah. Tack, zigzag, Yum Yum. I don't know what infant shitty saying fuck, like. Fuck, fuck, shitty, fuck, shit, fuck. Okay, so the princess has a real original backstory. Are you ready for this? I think Re Really? Okay. Listen. Wait, let's see, okay. She's tired of her boring life. And in a bizarre twist, she dreams of wanting more. I know I could do more if I just had the chance. This life Watch. I live in regal splendor seems a waste. I do hope regal there's a tired, unoriginal wow. musical number to tell us what we already know she feels. Oh no, no, no. Just too delight. Oh I no. To behave, but she is more than this. There's a mind in I don't like these tools. God, is this song bland. I mean, this is like eating styrofoam on wheat well, toast. she can sing at least. Bland. It's like someone approached somebody like Alan Menken and said, Hey, Ooh. can you write an original song? Sure, what's it about? It's about a princess who's dreaming of more. Oh, all right. Uh, copy paste. Oh, no. That's a disgusting sound. <sighs> that should do it. Oh, and just like those other Disney songs where the landscapes and grand visuals are stunning, this musical performance uh, has spinning, and spinning, spinning and just a uh, bunch of spinning. More fucking spinning! Also, yeah, notice how those are all movies I haven't seen. From the Tasmanian Ballet Theater. So Tack is brought to. The I hope that's a real thing, but it's definitely not. Yum Yum meets him for the first time. What? 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 Are they just in love? <laughs> Are we doing it again? But the princess and Flex still can't fix that. She needs a cobbler, so he's called in to fix her shoe. Oh, Meanwhile, she we just snapped her shoe. Zigzag has an evil plan to, you guessed it, take over the of course world. The world. With Princess Yum Yum at my side. Yeah, of course he wants the girl too. Are mine by right. Oh, by the way, did I mention that he speaks entirely in rhyme? Greatest king of all the earth, this lowborn cobbler of no worth attacked me in the square today. Attacked you? Shall we take his head away? I'm not even sure. I really. I kind of like that he rhymes. Why does he speak in rhyme if everybody else doesn't? I like it. Doesn't? Is there a I like reason it. for it? He's a I wizard. Mean, what makes him so special? I don't get. Excuse me. Hello. Greetings, critic. This is Vincent Price. Wait a minute. The Vincent Price? Like the Vincent Price? Yes. I have no idea. How many stars of stage, screen, and Tim Burton wet dreams do you know? But wait a minute. You've been dead for I've several only years. seen one well, Tim Burton movie. See, just like the dialogue for this oh, is that you did that? I recorded this phone message several yeah. years ago. So I set my phone on a timer to call you and give you this message. Wait, so everything you're saying right now is a recording? Yes. How is that possible? How do you know everything I'm going to say? Well, many a fortnight ago, I made a Faustian pact with the nefarious forces of the Neverworld. So I can see into the future with 100% accuracy. Is that I why you know when you're going to that? you're going to say. Oh, come on. That's, that's bullshit. bullshit. You, you can't, can't predict, predict what I'm... Stop that. that. I mean it, stop it! Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Toybo, Toybo, Toybo. She sells seashells by the... Kmart. By the Kmart? Alright, recording of Vincent Price, what do you want? This cacophony of cock you've paraded over my fierce elucidations strikes me with humiliation and discomfort. You see, I want you to know why I stammered in rhythmic drones of iambic pentameter in this cinematic adventure. Uh... You mean explain why you whined? Yes. yes. Okay, well, yes. why? 
past I can't remember. <laughs> That's just great. Years after your death. What about the SAO bridge? Or SAO is that? It's on the tip of my tongue. You know, it had something to do with Rock Hudson and the banana cream pie. Okay, I'm hanging up yeah? right now. Oh, and do look out for that pumpkin. Mm. Oh, Foreshadowing. There's what? a pumpkin. P pumpkin? Pumpkin? What? 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 Pumpkin, Why? What? So we see the cobbler in the princess latte? as he fixes her shoe. Okay. The princess was so beautiful, and I was just an ordinary cobbler. He doesn't How have is a he lot doing to like say him? for himself. Oh, don't worry. His inner monologue that never shuts the fuck up will make up for that. Also, do you have, does he have nails? Yeah, he has nails on him. Tricks. Keep your eyes on your work, cobbler. What are you Why doing? You talk when it matters? What is it, Kimosabi? No, is it Kimosabi? Speaking the hunchback of, the other, of Notre Dame. A comes in looking for something to steal. Soap. Oh, so that's soap. what it looks like. Oh yeah, soap is an expensive thing. What's that? Oh, Are you watching? Oh Jesus. Oh. Oh. But wait, a golden scratcher. But scratcher. What? But scratcher. Oh, but scratcher. But scratcher. But scratcher. So he steals the scratcher okay. and runs into the cobbler, who tries to stop him. Halt! In the name of King Nod. I couldn't believe what I what? was saying. Suddenly, what? I was defending the crown. And I have to admit, this and is the thief one of the coolest away. yet still trippiest chases what in the world. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh god! Oh god! Whoa! 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 Okay. Okay. I kind of like how trippy it is, though. Meant to just like a 3D movie. The song's pretty good. It, the song's probably copyrighted. Hopefully, it's not. I hope not. That just that just adds time to rendering and uploading videos that I don't want to have to deal with again. So after that trip out, Zigzag okay. sees that Tex finished the shoe, and so he puts him in a cell. Oh, I'm get in the cell. Never see the princess again. How does he so good with the she was strings like that? Me too. Why? I close my eyes. Oh yay! Another I have more singing. underwritten song to rape us with its blandness. So soft and warm and clear. Yeah, you thought the first song was bad? Just listen to the lyrics on this one. Okay. Don't fight your feelings, says my heart. A heart I will obey. What? Was it supposed to be the Northern Star or something? Wow. That's a kind of laziness that you only dream about. You know, because you're so fucking lazy. I mean, it's like if Homer Simpson, Garfield, Snoopy, and Al Bundy all procrastinated to the last minute and finally and they made a came song. up with these lyrics. I mean, are they even trying? Anyone can come up with this shit. Hmm. My heart will love. Oh no! Oh no! It's like um the no. What was the one that was? What was that one video he does? Like the worst video he ever made. Oh, what is it called? What was it called? I wanted to say the room, but that wasn't. That was a Tommy Wiseau movie. It's the one about the. Wait, was there a mouse cursor on the screen? Was there a mouse cursor on the screen? I heart love. Tommy director Tommy Wiseau. How in the world did I just summon Tommy Wiseau? Still locked away in his cell. How, dude? How? Is he even a suit to mice? God, shut up! This a hole has more inner monologue than Samus from Metroid Other M. I never played Metroid. In Yum Yum's honor. Of course, she was far from impressed. If only Adam was here to tell me what to think. So the next day, Tack breaks free out of his cell as the thief tries to steal the golden balls from the top of the castle. Why? Finally, I mean they're golden balls, the but that's kind of a big deal. Why don't I it's gonna be easier things to steal. The grass is green. A frog is green. I'm sure How, I that does not about this fit in great detail somehow. Eventually, the thief manages to get the golden balls as he here's a shocker monologues to himself. You're okay, nobody knows this. Castle by the sea. Where are you put it between your legs? Gonna buy me everything I need to turn the basement into a rec room. 
Wait, so a room and a main and a castle is cheaper than or more expensive than the castle itself? Go to fall. You know, Disneyland. Funny. When I hear pop cultural references in a film that takes place in Arabia, I think of Aladdin. But this was being made before Aladdin. Apparently, Disney really? animators drew influence from this movie when it was being made that helped Aladdin get off the ground. And after that came How? out, the new producers of this film drew influence from Aladdin. So Aladdin ripped off this, only to have this rip off Aladdin. Rip off Aladdin. Basically, the film is a product of animated inbreeding. Suddenly, this is all <laughs> starting to make more sense, isn't it? Alabama. What well, is he not so like the Aladdin movies? He tells the king that an evil army is brewing, led by an evil with man like named ten one. arrows in his back. Why is he so much smaller? One, I, one, I is coming. One eye. Yeah, the one the dude, the one eye. Yeah. I oh, it's Sauron. So as the king prepares his army, Zigzag manages to get the golden spears from the thief. <laughs> now that and I he's gonna keep the them, balls. probably. Get out, everybody! Get out, everybody! Zigzag decides to give the balls to One Eye, while the princess has an idea oh? about how to solve the problem. Apparently, there's a witch in the desert that's all knowledgeable. But who's gonna go talk to her? Where do I find this witch? You. Never. Much too dangerous. Never. Father, I'm smarter than any man in this city. And faster than your clumsy henchman. As was proven by the previous scenes of her... Doing anything? Running fast and being smart. Okay, bitch, all you did was Didn't the thief bitch. steal from her? I qualifies you to be a speedy gun Einstein. That's so great. So she chooses Einstein. the cobbler to be his guy because he's lived all his life in the village and has no idea how the desert works. Oh, I mean, uh, has great knowledge of the desert and all its Does secrets. Does he? You how do you know? How many times he's been out there by the incredibly dark tan that he has all over yeah, his body. Yeah, so tan. Clearly, he is no stranger to the sun. He's more pale than me. Okay, so they he's set him into transparent. the desert under the cover of royal escort to find the sudden plot device known as the witch. <laughs> the sudden plot device. Well, wait a minute, what happened to his skin? He was looking like Tim Burton's Prince of Persia. Now he has a tan like George Hamilton. I know what you're thinking. What? It's because he went out in the sun that he suddenly tanned. But look, as they're leaving, his skin is a different color. And it's nighttime. Why? This doesn't Why? Up. What, did the animator suffer a fatal heart attack? <gasps> and then somebody else took over and forgot to tell him that tack is pale? Continuity. Very it's pale. just for the coherent anymore. So they run into a bunch of dead outlaws called difference. the Brigands. They sing another song that makes you want to scalp yourself, and then they decide to join them in their search for the witch. At last, we reached the scalp hands yourself. of glory. All we had to do was wait until the next day when the sun would be directly overhead, and the what? magic moment would arrive. Or maybe oh, the writers okay. kind of just had us arrive on time, but we found this wasted more animation, and let's face it, we're on a roll with that. Oh, it's one of those things. So they see the witch who has some confusing, yet somehow still generic advice to give our heroes. Believe in your oh, it's a ghost? Is what you like. When are you going to start bloodbending? Attack, attack, and never look back. Oh, I also have some battle strategies over there, but um, I find shitting out riddles is a lot more fun. <laughs> So we see Zigzag hand riddles. the balls over to one eye, and they prepare to take over oh, the Oh, well, see where I called that. Do you have enough you teeth, know, my guy? We're told what kind of power the balls have, or even what they do. We never see them in motion, and we don't really know how powerful they are. Are we just supposed to assume they're, uh... Important? <laughs> Dragon Balls? So one eye's army attacks that song? with... Whatever the hell this thing is. As Zigzag tries like to take a giant attack. moving tank. Attack. 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 Oh my god. Slingshotting attack. What in the world? Well, I guess when you make a machine that implausible, you're just begging for it to be taken down in an implausible Wait, way. Impl yeah, more than implausible. Be here with Zigzag and tech. <laughs> He huh, still has one attack easy. left. Your mind he just ran him over. Oh, well, stolen. Ride, okay, did a horse just land on them? Horses are heavy. What, cobbler? I don't think what? he said anything. Yeah, he did not say anything. So Tech defeats the wizard by sewing him up. The thief gets the golden balls back, and One-Eyed's army is destroyed. 
the and thief. in the end, we find that non-threatening blandness wins the day. Oh, okay, so tack. Oh, well, so now next he's dark time again. You see a shooting star. Be proud of who you really are. Do in your heart what you know is right, and you too shall become an Arabian. I die. I die. Uh, I die. You're an animator who spends most of his life and thousands of dollars trying to tell the story he's always wanted to tell. In which case, you're totally screwed. Pain. Alright, so I have good news and bad news. The bad What's news the good is, news? This movie sucks. It's What's the good news? It's over? The songs are forgettable, the characters are annoyingly bland, as well as annoying. It's just a horrible release. However, the good news is there is a re edit of this movie called The Recobbled Cut. This the recobbled gut. Okay, it's much better. To tell the version that Richard Williams always wanted to see, and let me tell you, it's a lot better. There's no okay, Matthew but why do they change Jonathan it like that? Winters, no shitty ass songs, and virtually no dialogue from the main no, character. No terrible which songs. Which is actually Love pretty that. unique. Because of this, most of the story is told strictly through the animation, which, while some people may see as an acquired taste, is still pretty spectacular. I, so much I like more movies, like um, Dunkirk. The There's very the little words there is with that in Dunkirk. It knows what it wants to be, a surreal, artistic, practically silent movie. Unlike the Miramax cut, which tries so hard to appeal to everyone that it appeals to no one. And while yeah. I can't say the Recobble cut is a fantastic movie, it's certainly it's more impressive and much more entertaining. It's worth checking well, it's out It's also how it's supposed to be. If you just type in Thief and the Cobbler Recobbled cut on Google or YouTube, you'll come across Recobbled. it eventually. Check it out and see some really great animation. I'm the nostalgic. Is the right Cobbler right? still really pale? Like the entire time? Vincent. Well, critic, I knew you would blow me off after that last phone call, so I set a time bomb in your house before it was built. Clever me. Before it was built. But don't worry, it's set to go off in exactly 50 seconds. You'd better oh. be big boy. I remember, so you don't have to. One, two, skip a few 50. Skip a few 50? Oh, I love it when I'm nasty. Did he account for time, daylight saving time, which apparently we're getting rid of here very soon? Written by Doug and Rob Walker. Speaking of Doug, I need to watch a Doug Doug video. That came out on Friday. I heart love music by my... Oh, uh, here's all the clips that we've seen. The guy with glasses. So, what do we do next? Because now we finished up with the Richard... Oh, that was copyrighted. I have the balls. <laughs> That's all, folks. Oh, my God. So, that was The Thief and the Cobbler. That is the Richard Williams... Uh, trilogy that we apparently had going on here, which is interesting to say the very least. I don't know what the next one's gonna be. You all give me some wonderful suggestions. I hope you're having a great 4th of July. Everybody stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which, I mean, there's a lot of things I do do, like jump off of roofs into snow or uh, Healy shirtless in a hurricane with an AR-15 in one hand. There's a video on my YouTube channel of me doing that. It's a Ruby video. It's a very old video. Camera wasn't even a focus. And, uh, yeah, that was fun. But, yeah, I had never even heard of Thief and the Cobbler. But I can definitely see why it's, like, kind of related to Aladdin. Because, like, I've seen, like, pictures of Aladdin. Because it memes out of Aladdin. But I've never actually seen Aladdin or anything like that. My mom, the other night, like, we were eating. And she was, like... She was like, talk about Tim Burton. She was like, eh, I don't really like Tim Burton. I, no, we were talking about my friend. My friend had an, had a yard sale because uh, she just moved into a house. And she sold some stuff. And my mom is friends with her on Facebook because my parents are friends with my friends. It's weird. Um, but she was like, yeah, a lot of her stuff was in Halloween. It was Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. And my mom was like, oh, I don't really like Tim Burton stuff. I'm not crazy about him. I'm like, the only Tim Burton movie I've seen is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I was like, you've never seen Edward Scissorhands? I'm like... Do you not know who I am? <laughs> what? Even my parents are confused as you all, okay? <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made you smile. Hopefully it made you laugh. Hopefully it made your day just a tiny little bit better. I read every single comment, so I'll leave some down below. I'm going to be replying to a lot of them as well, so you know I'm reading them. Patrons get the videos there early. I'll be back next Monday with some more Nostalgia Critic. But until the next video, take care and kitty music. We were playing as old.